I just want to tell them Malik Squad, if you're here, kindly subscribe to this channel and also Beatrice Hongo Squad. I don't know if that's what you want. <laughs> I don't know my squad. I'm just Beatrice Hongo. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. So guys, if you are new here, karibu sana and kama kawaida, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are returning by, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Guys, I am still here with the one and only Malika Kenya. So it means I am still in Nairobi and today we are doing something interesting, guys. So, you know, you all know that I've been in Nairobi for some few days and it's the end of me being here. Yeah, it's, it's the last day, actually. It's the last day yeah. before I go back to Mombasa. But as I mentioned earlier in my previous vlog, I'm not yet done in Mombasa. Like, in sorry, Nairobi. in Nairobi. I'm yeah. not yet done in Nairobi. Mm. So, Malika here is here to ask me about my experience in Nairobi. Like, Nairobi. you know, like, um, guys, uh, when I went to Mombasa, uh, we, you watched my video. Mm -hmm. I had, like, uh, you know, like, being the very first time in Mombasa, I just want, I, I told her my experience in Mombasa, what I expected, what I got, you know, and we're doing the same thing. I just want to know her experience in Nairobi, like the things that shocked her most, the good things that she saw in Nairobi, and you know, yeah, everything she saw in Nairobi. Guys, let me start with the good thing. Like, this time around, I'm loving the weather. Like, you can see, I'm even in our off shoulder. Like, the last time I was in Nairobi, it was so cold. But guys, this time, look at me. I'm enjoying it's like I'm having Mombasa vibe, but mm -hmm. now the difference is at night here it's so cold, but not compared to Mombasa. At night it's cold? It, like you cannot compare that in two oh, Mombasa. Awesome. Yeah, of course we are like 36 degrees, 32. What? Okay. Yeah. And here it's like 28, 27. Yeah. yeah. So guys, the first thing that I'm loving this time around is the weather. Like the weather is so beautiful. Mm. Then I'm glad you love it. <laughs> yeah. Another thing that I maybe because it was on a weekend, mm. the traffic wasn't that bad. Oh my god, traffic in Nairobi is crazy. You're saying traffic is not bad? No, it like maybe because it was on a weekend. Then maybe, no, yeah, maybe. Uh, by the way, all the oh, okay, on Friday we experienced that little bit of a traffic. little bit, but I think it's going to improve because of the new express, yeah, expressway. Yeah, like is... there's too much traffic in Nairobi because of the ex the construction of the mm -hmm. expressway. But with time, we are hoping that things will change. Okay. With time, you're hoping things will change. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you okay, you love hot weather. Yeah, I love because it. Because in Mombasa, it's always hot. Always hot. Like, we are, if, whether, even if it's rain, it's mm -hmm. still going to be hot. Like, it's always hot. It's always, yeah. yeah. In Mombasa, it's always hot. Like, at night, I was sleeping with a fan next yeah, to Yeah, I remember. That's what oh, my God. Saying. In Mombasa, it's very, very hot in Mombasa, but it depends on where you're coming from. Yeah. In Mombasa, it's hotter than, Mombasa is hotter than Nairobi because I think of the ocean currents. The yeah, place. yeah. Yeah. And so, something and, else. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm taking over the channel. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. I'm taking over the channel. You know, like in Mombasa, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the one thing that you showed me in Mombasa, there was a lot of street food. Like everyone is selling food in Mombasa. Hey, you know, what, what do you think? <laughs> Guys, I wish I had enough time to mm -hmm. do that for you guys. Like, actually, if you watch Malika's vlog, what mm -hmm. she was telling me about the street food, mm -hmm. and exactly what I saw. Mm -hmm. Like, the street food here is mutura, like my indichoma, my indichoma which is maize, smoky, that is smoky, sausages, yeah, and like eggs. serious wild eggs. I promise next time when I'm, I'll be back, mm -hmm. I'll do for you guys a street food. You have to. <laughs> Another thing that I loved so much, like the buildings are so nice. And like, beautiful. Nairobi is beautiful. Very beautiful. beautiful. Nairobi is and beautiful. to make it, like, to top it up, the green environment. Mm -hmm. It's so green, guys. Like, you all need to come to Nairobi. Like, that's that's something that I really like. Now come to the <laughs> worst, worst part. Like, uh -huh. my experience, like, the people here are not friendly, guys. Let me not lie. <laughs> Let me not lie. The people are not friendly. Okay, not everyone. We people are minding nice, their business. Yeah, like, people mind. People are just business. walking. No, but you can't go talking to. I, I told you guys in my previous video, you can't go talking to everyone in Nairobi. Like in Mombasa, you cannot just pass somebody as if they're strangers. Really? You have to say like Shikamo, hi, you know, how are you doing? Yeah, and now you know. you've seen the difference. But here, guys, like everybody's minding their own business. Yeah. You are even afraid of asking somebody a direction, like. Mm -hmm. They can take, for instance, when I came, somebody just lied to me, like an Uber. Mm -hmm. I, I came by a train. Mm -hmm. So, an Uber from SGR to here, mm -hmm. they told me it's 2,500. 
what that was the normal a taxi, taxi. Yeah. yeah normal taxi 2500 and i was like seriously no so when i tried to use bold mm-hmm. it was coming to around 1300 and i was like seriously the difference is the different so and when you use the inter how do you call the sgr there is a train train exit. connecting to town to town it yeah. was just a hundred bob yeah What's the why the big difference there? Yeah. Well, everyone is hustling <laughs> in Nairobi, but I think I I I really feel some people are really overdo it because there's no need of overcharging someone because you've had they are not from Nairobi, you know. There's no need of overcharging because you're going to come here next time. Yeah, but you know? right now I'm I'm so glad that I have my girl here. Yeah. I've been touring around, guys. I know you've watched those vlog and uh, thank you so much for the support and because of your girl here, I'm so happy that your people <laughs> are so genuine. They just they have giving me a moral support. Another thing good. that I didn't like, mm-hmm. we used a uh, 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 matatu. Matatu mm-hmm. is a public means here. Oh my god. Guys, the shame that Nairobians have shown me with a visitor around. <laughs> you guys, you guys, you couldn't wait for the visitor to go. Let me tell them what we went through. Guys, like when you were going back to where we were staying mm-hmm. at the Airbnb, so we we were using that matatu. Yeah. And when we went in, mm-hmm. the matatu was already full. Yeah. And with uh, only one available seat. One, uh, yes, one and available. We two. We are two of us. Yeah. So they're expecting us to stand, and yet they want us to pay. Yeah. Then we were like, no, we want to. We want to get a light, a light so that we that take the next the, the next. The guy but refused. He and refused the, and he refused to open the door and the, he told the driver was, to go without stopping. Speed, without yeah. stopping. Mm-hmm. I was like, seriously, is that how you handle your people? You know, that was that was so bad. I felt so bad because like I, I'm having a visitor. There's only one seat. And so like everyone in the Matatu was mad. that like, No, this is something good about Kenyans, about Nairobians. <laughs> everyone was mad at the Matatu because yeah. they saw us trying to and pay with the conductor. And they were even telling us, like, guys, don't pay, don't yeah. pay them. They, were, they, they saw us pleading with the conductor, telling the conductor, please, we, we, I can't stand to where we were staying because it, it was quite a distance, you know? Yeah, and they were, they were like telling them, well, don't even pay, we are going yeah. to be with you. Yeah. Until the guy got ashamed to yeah. Alex and he told us, nah, don't pay. Yeah, but, but that we only paid not... for one seat for Beatrice because I told yeah. her to sit on the one seat that was available. Me, I went standing like a conductor. I was just there standing at the door. But you see, something like <sighs> this doesn't happen in cost. But that was, they cannot I know, allow I know they, are, they, are not suppo- they are not supposed to do that either here in Nairobi. It's just that some few people, because we also have like very, very nice conductors mm-hmm. and drivers here in Nairobi. Like uh, this is like my first, my second experience, which was not good. But all through, I've been meeting very nice drivers and conductors. But you see these few who mm-hmm. are really misbehaving are the ones who are making us think everyone is like that. So guys, I stood from town to where we were staying, and it was just like standing. Quite, Everyone yeah. else was sitting down. Me, I was standing. So I was there telling him, like, why don't you want me to go down? I'm, I'm telling you. So the people at the, the people in the matatu told me not to pay because it wasn't my fault. No, yeah. And yeah, we, so we he was ashamed. Him. Then he told us not to pay. Yeah, he told me not then to pay. Then another thing that I realized, guys, our food in Nairobi is quite expensive compared yeah. to cost. <laughs> like we are used to, like, like seriously, guys, food. Uh, one thing that I noticed, uh, food in Nairobi is quite. But expensive. also, Beatrice, it depends on where you're going to eat. Yeah. You know, like the places that we were going to eat uh, were a bit high end. <laughs> I don't know, guys. We are not rich, but the places <laughs> no. that we were going, well, we have local places. Which food is very, very cheap. Now the thing is that I don't know the chums. <laughs> the chums, I mean the, the places. And yet she is coming from Nairobi. No, guys. you can't know everywhere. But I, I toured right around in coast. But anyway, and I, guys, Nairo- Nairobi, Nairobi, Nairobi is big. Mombasa yeah, is but small. That's what I have to yeah, have, guys. Yeah. Nairobi is big yeah mm-hmm. but it's a very nice place and another bad incident that we had was uh discrimination so this is something that very uh unfortunate. it's very oh unfortunate God. but uh malika will explain to you in uh, her channel go check it out i think you've done a vlog on us right yeah so guys go check it out it was so bad Really, really bad. Let me not talk more about it. Uh, just go check in her channel at Malika Kenya. I'll leave her link down below and you get to know exactly what happened. Yeah. That was very, very bad incident that I wouldn't wish anyone to, to, go, through. to go through that. So yeah. go check it out and you'll see. I think it's also going to educate other people yeah. on how to deal yeah. with such things. Well, in in but, case you find yourself in such a situation, situation, what you can do. But other than that, I... 
generally what i can say it's an expensive town yeah yeah it's yes. an expensive Definitely. town yeah. right but i think because it's a, it's a business yes yeah. yeah it's it's a metro it's is it a metropolitan city it's yeah, a, yeah it is yeah, like it's a, yeah it's yeah. a expensive city so when you're coming here do your budget wise or well calculate properly yeah. because you'll find yourself o- over the bank. Over, yeah, yeah. Over spending. breaking over spending. the bank <laughs> yeah, breaking the bank like, yeah. you don't want to know how much you've spent for the first few days <laughs> For us, we are still starting, mm-hmm. but we've really, really spent. So how about those people at the IA? Yeah. Then one thing I noticed, uh, fuel is expensive yeah. here. Yeah. Like. Uh, it's, I don't know about fuel, guys. I'm not a car owner. Yeah, but, for instance, in mm-hmm. diesel, in mm-hmm. Mombasa, it's uh, 102. Mm-hmm. And here is 117. Oh, there is a very, one very... One seventeen. That's a big difference. There is a big gap, like something like that. So, as I said, guys, it's a very, very expensive... Not that we cannot afford, Not but very, very compared, to other, no, compared to other counties, yeah. like Nairobi is... Uh, expensive okay they say mombasa is a, a tourist destination area maybe mm-hmm. that's why p- things are pricey but i bet you know nairobi is a bit expensive compared to mombasa, mombasa. so guys that's it i thought of sharing out with you the experiences that i had in in nairobi for the first few days that i came mm-hmm. and uh, thank you so much for having me and thank you so much for being a good host i will still come back in Nairobi. Pleasure is yeah mine. i love the weather like if the weather continues to be like this mm-hmm. i'll be visiting this place more and more and yeah, as please, you please said, so. it's so big that we haven't explored much yeah, yeah if i had Nairobi is big if i had if honestly I, Nairobi is big if i had much time mm-hmm. i could have stayed yeah next time you come at least for a week maybe yeah maybe yeah. so yeah. guys thank you so much for watching this video till this father's end and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet kindly do so it's completely free and remember guys subscribing it's completely free like yes. it, it doesn't cost you anything you yeah. just have to click the red notification uh, there is a, a red button there mm-hmm. you will uh that's how you subscribe right yeah then also don't forget to click the notification bell to so get that you get notified, notified each when and we... every time a new video is uploaded so until next time maybe you want to say something to your uh, yeah i just want to tell them malik squad if you're here kindly subscribe to this channel and also which is hongo squad i don't know if that's what you call it <laughs> i don't know my squad i'm just it's just hongo like it is hongo people maybe, maybe we will have a squad yeah when when we reach my my goal is to reach 15000 subscribers apparently we are at 11000 you're going to get there in jesus name Amen. kindly subscribe to mine also if you're watching this channel and let's grow together So guys, remember to always love each other and see you guys in our next video. Bye.